Thank you, Christy. School lunches aren't always easy. You want the food to be healthy. Your child wants it to be fun. <laughs> Dietitians say what you pack is key to keeping students fueled and focused throughout the school day. We know the school year can get pretty hectic, so Amy Kawada shares some ways that you can make sure healthy, packed meals aren't an afterthought. What's the recipe for a successful school day? A delicious and nutritious lunch. Kids should have fruits and vegetables and grains and protein and dairy. By prioritizing healthy eating habits, families can start the school year off on the right foot, not only fueling young minds, but also achieving lifelong wellness. It's very important. They, can, they can't focus if they're not getting their basic nutrients. So we have micronutrients, our vitamins and minerals in our diet. We have our macronutrients, protein, calcium, fat. So when you're packing your child's lunch, keep two things in mind, variety and presentation. Your kid is tired of sandwiches. How are we going to jazz that up? Okay, here's a starter. Get a cookie cutter. Make a kebab. Experts say it's also important to include your child in preparing lunch. She'll ask for her make her own style Lunchables. So I'll cut cheese up into squares. Sometimes we do it with a little turkey pepperoni and some crackers. And for families on a budget, licensed dietitian at MedStar Health, Carrie Strom, recommends staying away from prepackaged foods. Instead, try to make it yourself at home. Also, not everything has to be organic. I'm not going to spend my money on organic bananas um, or organic oranges because I'm just taking off that peel. Avoid processed foods and watch for high sodium content as well as those added sugars. There are lots of flavored waters. I mean, those have zero calories and zero sugar and they're cheaper than sodas and juices. Preserving your child's food and keeping it cool is also just as important to avoid any foodborne illness. I actually bought one of the little bento boxes that has the freezer part that attaches to it, so it stays in the freezer. Amy Kawada for WJZ. Well, make sure that you're keeping up with all of our back-to-school coverage on air and streaming. And be sure to scan that QR code right there on your screen. That will take you to a place right on our website for all of our back-to-school coverage and information.